Look at the sky. What do you see? Most probably, you would see the sun, the moon, and even the stars. All of these, including us, are part of the very vast universe. The universe comprises all the time and space, and all the matter and energy in it. The billions of galaxies, the trillions of stars, the planets, asteroids, and even the things that are not observable to us are part of the universe. But do you know how old our universe is? Approximately, it is 13.7 billion years old. Too old, right? But how did the universe start? What is its origin? There are many attempts made to explain the origin of our universe. And here are some of these theories. The first one is called the creationism. If you believe that a divine being created everything, this is what this theory is about. Based on the book of Genesis, God created the heavens and the earth, the sun, moon, stars, and all of the creatures of the earth in the span of six days and rested on the seventh day. Another theory is the theory of the oscillating universe. It states that the universe will go through a series of expansions and contractions. Observe this simple diagram. Expansion or Big Bang will occur resulting in the formation of the universe, but eventually, it will contract and will collapse in an event called Big Crunch. This process is a cycle and will happen repeatedly. The next theory we will be talking about is the steady state theory. It describes the universe to be the same at all times, as well as in all places, contradicting the Big Bang theory. But even if it is the same, there are still small changes that are happening in the universe, such as the formation of new matter or stars. This theory highlights that as the universe expands, it maintains a constant average density just like what is shown in this diagram. The density becomes constant because new stars are continuously created all the time at the rate needed to replace the stars which have used up their fuel already. This theory was developed in 1948 by Fred Hoyle, Herman Bondi, and Thomas Gold. Another interesting theory is the multiverse theory. This theory proposes that our universe is not the only one, but there are other multiple universes. Very interesting, right? But the most widely accepted theory on the origin of the universe is the Big Bang theory. Take note that Big Bang is not really an explosion like a bang, but it is an expansion. This theory states that the universe originated from an infinitely hot and dense single point called a singularity that expanded to form the ever-expanding universe that we have today. This theory was first suggested by Georges Lemaitre. This theory is widely accepted due to the pieces of evidence that support it such as the redshift phenomenon and the cosmic background radiation. Edwin Hubble observed that most galaxies have spectral shifts that move towards the red end of the spectrum. This is called the redshift. Redshift is an example of Doppler effect, as a certain object moves away from us, the light waves emitted by them are being stretched, moving towards the red end of the spectrum. This discovery indicates that the universe is actually expanding. Another piece of evidence that supports Big Bang is the cosmic background radiation, accidentally detected by Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson in 1965. The cosmic microwave background, CMB, is leftover radiation from the Big Bang or the time when the universe began. The light from the early universe has been traveling in the universe, and we can detect its afterglow or CMB on Earth. CMB is being used to further understand our universe. Let's sum up what we have learned so far. Some of the theories on the origin of the universe include creationism, the theory of the oscillating universe, the steady-state universe, multiverse theory, and the Big Bang theory. Until now, many people are still studying and discovering different things about our universe. There are still many mysteries that we need to unravel about our universe, and who knows, you might be the next one who will share significant discoveries about our universe.